Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on channel. Today we are going to be doing a top 5 gadget tier list. If you haven't already, I have done a couple of gadget tier lists before in the past, but today I'm going to do another one. I do one basically around every month, every 3 to 4 weeks, because there's normally some meta changes, some balance changes, something that's switching things up. So right now I'm going over the top 5 gadgets, and make sure to check out Kirsten in the description down below. He's going to be starting YouTube very soon. He's qualified at five times for the PS4 Championship and he's looking forward to winning the whole thing. So make sure to check him out and let's get right into it. So here we are with the first game here. We're playing uh, M's. M's gadget is going to be at number five on our list here. And I feel like M's gadget has dropped off. That's not a great start there. Yeah, so I think M's gadget has dropped off ever since it's been changed from three to two. Because that does really hurt M. So that to me more st strategical with it. And you can't really use it whenever you want. You need to just be very careful. So right now, we actually just use it there. There we go. And we only have one more gadget now, which really sucks. That's why I feel like it's uh, one of the worst gadgets. Not one of the worst. I mean, like, fifth on our list. Um, we're not going to waste our gadget there. But if you do want to get, like, a quick and easy kill, you could use it. But you really want to use it where it actually matters. Because, you know, you don't want to really waste it. Because that would just suck. And there we go. Get that. And Curse should be able to score here, I think. No, he doesn't. He's going to just break it there. We get the kill on the sprout. And that's going to be a goal there. Well played by Curse. There we go. We used one gadget so far. We're trying to use another one here before we score again, hopefully. And what mainly with M's gadget, it's just a quick kill. Because if you just spam the gadget and then like three shots afterwards like that. And just do that. You just get a quick kill right there. There we go. We just confirmed the kill there. Curse is doing a little play there. And we're going to be able to score right now. And that's a, a great start to showing why M's is gadget number 5th. Moving on to the next gadget on our list. Here we are guys with a number 4 on our list. And that's going to be Brock's gadget. Brock's gadget is very very good. But I don't feel like it's always viable I'd say. Sometimes people use the gadget and they actually die from it. So let's just see how well we can do it with it right now. There we go. Get a kill and spike there. And you, try, wanna, you really want to just save them as you can. Because you never know when you might need it. In case you're playing like bounty or something, you like a clutch situation or something like that. There we go, do this. And let's do the jump there. And we're just going to be on the wall there. We'll get the kill. And there we go, we also get the goal there. Well played by Curse. There you go, the, a good jump right there because it did pressure them a little bit. And now we're going to try and get a little bit of value off the spike right now. They go hit one shot, two shot. There we go, not missing a single shot right now. Okay, missed the first one there. And just there we go. Now I'm just gonna. Okay, I had the ball. I didn't even know I had the ball there. Because I was trying to jump out so that spike doesn't kill me. But I did pick up the ball there, which is rip. And we have two more block jumps here. I don't know if they're gonna be needed. Okay, definitely gonna be needed now. So I'm gonna just try and pull a little play. Okay, I'm just gonna get out straight away because that's just no no for us. And I'm gonna just try and get this M's here. There we go. Gonna try and use our range here. Don't really want M to push up on us. M is probably there. Yeah. Curse goes for the little shield play. There we go. One shot there. And hopefully they should be fine right now. I'm trying to get spike. And okay. It looks like they're not. It looks like they are struggling a little bit. Which is not good. We have one more gadget. So let's see how well we can use it. I'm going to scare them off a little bit with my super. And that was very, very bad for us. Let's see if I can do something with it. Okay, uh, maybe one more shot. Okay, now he just uses his gadget there. Not the best. Curse getting loads of value there. And Titan maybe going to be able to get a double kill there. And mainly when you use the Brock gadget, guys, you want to use it over like a wall or something. So that's why I feel like in Bounty, it's his best purpose. Because you can just use it to kill like a, a Piper or like a Bee or something like that in Bounty. Maybe a Tick as well. It does really well against Tick, which is the main thing that people struggle with in Bounty. So there we go. Maybe we can get the kill there. I'm trying to get the kill there. Okay, I'm going to jump out away. I'm going to try to get the spike. There we go. We do get the spike there. And we do get a shot on that. Let him heal up a little bit. And there we go. Get a super use. And we do manage to kill the M's there. But Sani does pick me off. It's going to be a one-on right now. I have no more gadgets. So that's not ideal. But I feel like in overtime, we should be fine with it. It's just mainly when there's like walls and stuff. Uh, the Brock's gadget can be used to dodge, for example, Gene Pool. Gene Pool is like the main thing. Brock gadget will be useful against uh, or to get out of a tough situation for example if you know you're gonna die but for example in bounty you really want to just try and stay alive so you can just do that okay that's going for something there and we just get it in between boom what a shot and that's gonna be another win moving on to number three on our list here we are guys with number three on our list and that's gonna be barley 
And we're facing the Moors and a Sprout. Not the best way to show it, but maybe the Moors might be. So we'll see. So I'm going to go the Heal Star Power as well, because Heal Star Power is by far the better one. Ow. Okay. I'm going to just try and push this uh, Sprout there. There we go. Getting him a bit weak. And I'm going to use my Super here now, because we want to really push them back so we can get a little bit of pressure off us. That's the main point of what Bali Super can do. And there we go, getting good damage there. And he's dead there. Then just super there, so that Sprout can't really push up that much. And I'm probably gonna be able to score here. Nope. Okay, let's see what. Okay, I'm dead. Nice. Uh, I guess we can. Have, we just have to wait there. That M's is definitely gonna use a gadget for sure if she has it. And I'm just gonna try and push up. I haven't used any gadgets yet, which is not uh, that great of a showcase right now. We're gonna find a use for it though, because you don't want to. I don't want to show it for you guys for the purpose of just looking at it. So there we go. Get it there. And just super there. And M's are gonna be dead right now. And okay, looks like I'm gonna be able to score again. There we go. Curse is gonna be able to score there. We're gonna go for a trick shot or something. Okay, Curse didn't score. That's gonna be a fat rip. And okay, there we go. Use that gadget there. He is slowed. And maybe that might help Tysa kill him. No, Tysa can't really do anything there. So we just use one gadget there. Probably not the best use, but you know, we have to use it, you know, so that we don't waste it that much. I'm gonna just try my best right now. But there we go. I'm gonna be able to get killed the Sprout, hopefully. Okay, Sprout's dead. Nice. And we can probably use it. If this M pushes on us, we can just use it like that. Or this Moise. Moise will be a prime example of using the gadget. There you go. He's gonna maybe push up on me. I don't know. I'm not really sure what he's doing there. Good there. I'm gonna be able to kill him before he does anything. And I'm gonna just get the kill there. There you go. Curse gets a really good goal. And all I need to do right now is just maybe stay behind the wall, play a little bit passive. We have a lot of time on our side. And there we go, we get him. And okay, I'm going to just slow him there so he can't catch up. And there you go, good goal there. Going to be using the gadget only a little bit. Not really big uses there, but you could use it to slow down tanks, for example. Like tanks, it, tanks rushing at you is the best way to use your gadget, I would say. Maybe around walls and stuff. Maybe slowing someone and so he can just easily get the kill. Anyways, moving on to number two on our list. Here we go, guys, with number two on our list, and that's going to be Jean's gadget. Guys, Jean's gadget hasn't actually been changed that much, except for the healing aspect, which used to be 1k, which used to be actually ridiculous. Now it's 700. It's uh, gone a little bit less powerful after that nerf, but still, it's one of the best because compared to M's, M's has only two gadgets, and then Jean still has a uh, three. There we go, good pull there. Yes, yeah, so that's the main factor why Gene Gadget is so good, is because it has three there. And also, you can do this. <laughs> why would you love to do that? That's a really good, smart thing to do, you know. Just shoot the ball forward and rely on your gadget to hit them back. Or you can do it right there. So BB won't be able to get the knockback on me. There you go, we've used two gadgets so far. If we were playing M's, we would have been uh, done for our use of gadgets by already. There we go, okay, interesting play there. And we just try and do that, and we do not back, and boom, guys, what a play! Gonna be going into another game. Hey, we go, guys, into another game. So as I was saying, guys, Gene Gadget is just so good, mainly because of it having three uses and not two compared to M's, and it also gives healing. The healing is really good because if you're playing against, for example, if you get like take down like some I don't know crow poison or something like that, you can just use your gadget and survive. And sometimes any enemies don't expect it that was a bad auto uh, auto aim there there we go we use our gadget there and got some distance there and also if a gene pulls you can use a knockback as well which does help there you go curse gets two kills there well play by curse he can, he's gonna be able to score that probably yeah so if a gene pulls you and if you can use your reaction time and use the knockback you can sometimes survive the gene pull which is very very good there we go get the thing there there we go and I'm just gonna clear it right now. And he's not doing too much damage to me. I'm gonna just knock him back there. And I'm gonna probably just pull Gene. And okay, wow, I am really bad. And there you go. Gene does his knock back there. A clutch defense move right by him. And uh, probably gonna be someone there coming right now. There we go. And I'm gonna just gonna pull him right now to finish him, hopefully. There we go, he's dead. I'm gonna pull him as well. Curse gonna get him. And I would say we're gonna cancel his super and stuff. That's also what Gene's good at. Gene's, I mean, Gene's gadget's also good at canceling supers. For example, Frank. 
uh, I don't know what else you can cancel. You can get MC Super and stuff like that. It's really good. And it's moving to number one on our list. Here we are guys with number one on the list. It hasn't really changed from the last tier list to what number one was. It's because Jackie is just like it's just ridiculous how good it is. Because I'm gonna show you right now. So if I get uh, any distance on him, there you go. I'm pressuring him back, there you go. That's the main purpose of it, it's just good at pressuring pressuring it back and getting kills like that. And okay, I just lost my super somehow, that's amazing. And we're gonna get the kill there, there we go. A nice and early lead for us. And I do have two more gadgets. I don't know why this gadget has not been nerfed. I feel like this gadget probably needs to be nerfed, like, since, like, the other ones as well. Because the other ones used to be ridiculous as well. There we go. I'm going to try and get these two right here. Okay, we tried to kill him, but the poker does keep healing him right there. We have one more gadget here, so maybe we can go for, like, some goal-scoring play right now. So we have to be really careful with it. And so let's assess the situation right now. So we have Rico right there. Tax is going to be going for the kill. I'm not really sure why he's not going using his knock back there. I'm going to just try and use it right now. There we go. Get one tag there. And okay, we actually cancel the super there. That's good. And I think Chris is going to just go for some like crazy play. I'm going to just heal up and then maybe go aggro. There we go. Going to go aggro a little bit. Going to use that. And we should win this 1v1. There we go. And if Curse passes it to me, I pass it to Tysa. And there you go. That's going to be a quick go, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.